Captain's Log, Episode 36. This week's episode of the Beer Avengers Podcast is sponsored by Astoria Beer and Cheese Ditmars. Located at 35-11 Ditmars Boulevard in Astoria, Queens. Now open seven days a week with outdoor and indoor dining. Tickets now available for their epic seven-year anniversary party on June 27th. Limited reserved seating available at 11 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m. Get your tickets while you can. Enjoy the eclectic array of craft beer, artisanal cheeses, and specialty grocery items at Astoria Beer and Cheese Ditmars, home bar to yours truly, Captain Porter Brown Stout. This week, Captain Huck and Beer Wonder welcome guest librarian, father-to-be, and beer-venger-to-be, Charles Moran. Come for the no less than eight pours. Stay for the digressions on Broadway show tunes, Charlotte Rampling films, Queen's blackouts from the early aughts, and of course, the arduous naming ceremony. Remember to like, star, and subscribe us whenever that feels appropriate. And send us your emails at thebeervengers at gmail.com if you have any questions, suggestions, or if you'd just like hearing us talk about you on the show. And now, without further ado, please enjoy episode 36, Librarian at the Gate. Well, we're the beer, 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 beer vengers, beer, 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 beer vengers, beer, 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 beer vengers. We're the beer vengers. Welcome to the beer cast, everyone. Coming to you once again from an undisclosed location in Astoria, Queens, back home again. This is Captain Porter Brown Stout. And coming to you from the west side of New York City. This is the Pale Male Hophead Huck. And coming to you from an undisclosed location in the County of Kings, it is I, the Beer Wonder! And we are... The, the Beer, Beer Avengers. Oh yeah. That's right, we're the Beer Avengers, everyone. sultry. I liked it. Beer Wonder is like angry about that. Is... Yeah, I get, I, no, angry some, about that I, name. I just, no, but the, like the villainous quality, I think, is is you know, I, you know, say what we will about Nutpool. It's but sometimes yeah. say what you like will we, about Nutpool. It's starting to, to, it's starting to, early. We do need to. We need to. I like I like bringing a little bit of villain. Every yeah. I, 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 well, he wanted to be on the show more, so he certainly is now. <sighs> yeah. Um, right. well, well, welcome to the beer cast, everyone. We have a great show ahead of you, uh, and ahead of you, and ahead of us, and uh, anyone else who is interested in in, in any way. Uh, but before I, I talk about any of that, before we even get to the pours or a, a discussion, I want to introduce you our special guest today, our special uh, soon to be next uh, to be to be crowned in the beer vengerhood. Uh, it is Charles Moran. It's Moran, right? All right, very oh, good. Yeah. Charles Moran, uh, who is a he's a he's a librarian. He was in a horror movie once. He also loves horror movies. And he has a couple of upcoming projects. One, uh, he's a father to be, but most importantly, if, for the purposes of our show, anyway, he's a beer vendor to be. That's Welcome, right. Charles. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Goosebumps on that uh, intro song, and thanks, thanks, Captain. That that was awesome. Appreciate it. Yep. Wow, it's a ch- um, it was a chilling rendition. It was, oh it yeah. Was. yeah. And super exciting. Charles is also uh, a longtime listener fan of the show. So yes. we're happy to have pulled directly from our fabulous <laughs> listenership. Uh, oh, yeah. To, to crown some beer vengers. You, you guys have given me like some great advice on how to like get my hands on some special beers, like uh, finding out about Tap Room. I, I wouldn't have found out about, you know, that app uh, without you know, your podcast and uh, Craft Shack and stuff like that. Well, we just really diversifying those drinks. But uh, did miss, did miss cheese, right? (laughs) We uh, we do strive to be uh, entertaining as well as informative. Absolutely. Um, And yeah, we've got a lot to entertain and inform you about on this upcoming show. We're going to learn a little bit more about Charles later in his uh, beginning fable. Um, Don't want to trigger the sound any earlier (laughs) than it needs to be. Uh, we've, uh, we're going to hear his a little bit more about our Genesis. weekend. Yes. Our, our, what is that? His tale of Genesis. His tale of Genesis. Uh, his, and, and we've got a uh, lot to talk about, about our weekend beer being back here in New York once again for all of us this week. Uh, but before we do any of that, I mean, 
it's really not the show until we get to the pores, right? No, it's not. That's right. I'm feeling this whole, very dry. This whole going first thing was fantastic, so I think I'm going to try it again. It was so, nice. It, <laughs> wait, um, wait, what are you doing? Beer Wonder? Well, I, I went first last week, and it was really fun, so I yeah, thought maybe we, I would just do that again. I think that's but, fine. That's fine. But I, it, it kind of I, – I don't feel like I don't know you anymore, man. <laughs> I, I get, you're I mean, right. The what, villainous you, you, are, side of me is coming out. Isn't it? I mean, yeah, I know you're sort of like guttural with your Beer Avengers announcement. Have you have you completely lost the sight of righteousness <sighs> about what is what is indeed what is truly polite? I, I don't the... know if I can do a show with a beer wonder that's not polite. I, I don't know. And doesn't I, it doesn't embrace it, all those virtues. It, it's clear that the summer madness has come over me. Uh, I apologize to my fellow Beer Avengers. It does seem that we should allow our guest to go first. There you it? go. There and, you and, go. And, and what, by Fear, Beer Avengers, even though he only mentioned us and you're a Beer Avenger to be, I think he meant you too, Charles. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. Cool. He cool, apologizes cool. to you as well, don't you, Beer I, Wonder? I do. I, I apologize to, to Beer, Beer Avengers near, far, soon to be, and long time. This, this was a, it was a dark moment. Well, we're, I'm going to bring uh, it back. I, I bring feel it back. like okay. we're already moving past it. Ap- 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 apology accepted. I, I was I getting do. nervous that this might be a, a, a villain origin story, but uh, you know, hey. <laughs> well, they have, they need them too. Well, but, but Charles, do. Um, what do you have for us today? Well, for today, um, I thought it would be only appropriate due to the new president being from Delaware hmm. and, and my parents having retired to Delaware to uh, bring into the Beer Avenger sphere a some some uh, Delaware brewed beers. Excellent. We have Ooh. never had a Delaware beer on the show, so I'm very yes. excited oh, about this. No one's ever said Beer Avenger sphere. That's good. <laughs> and, and, and Charles, you're also... That. You're starting off well, bringing new states to the whole table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good way, good way to, to ingratiate yourself here. Awesome, awesome. So uh, I wanted to start with this beer. Uh, it is from a brewery called the Big Oyster Brewing Company, and uh, it's uh, called Strawberry Banana Dreamsicle. Oh, Hello. I, mean, I love the see. can. Look at that with the red and the yes. or the like pinky red and the sort of yellow on it. Mm, yeah, 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 and. Uh, what I found fun of some of these, and I think other halves was probably the ones who started doing it. Other half mm-hmm. is the uh, the stamps at the end. They don't just say when it's canned. They say that's bananas because we're doing <laughs> strawberry banana drinks. All right, Ooh, nice. All right. All right. I can't wait to see this one. What was it? <laughs> hey! Oh, oh man, <laughs> that was a good crack, and What's clearly a freshie because it's popping right out. All right, hold it up a little higher so we can see that. Right. Oh yeah. Oh, that oh, this... is perfect framing. Definitely mm-hmm. getting better. No, I'm, I'm assuming. Color. Yeah, I'm assuming that's a sour, right, Charles? No, it is actually an Indian Pale Ale. It is wow. an yeah. IPA. Okay. Like a... oh, I am seeing chunks in there. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wildly right. hazy. Can, can you go ahead and hold up the can and the glass next to each other so we can just yeah. take a look at the can art with oh, that? This sure. is going to be let's, let's interesting. Get... There we go. So... Oh, oh, beautiful. It looks like an egg drop soup. That's like yeah, right. Wow, <laughs> wow, so delicious. That is oh. incredibly hazy. <laughs> what was the name of the brewery again? Big Oyster Brewery. Big Oyster. So uh, they, they're pretty uh, interesting in that uh, they're actually. I think a lot of breweries right now are, are like kind of like restaurants mm-hmm. and they're brewing. So they they started off as a. That's how they started off as a, just a small little shop that was doing oysters and they had like small uh brew uh you know the, i don't know what they're called so like a brew pub like an oy- yeah, oyster yeah, bar brew yeah, pub. Yeah. yeah so then they got into a bigger they bigger venue bigger restaurant looks like a barn i said why don't we go into that barn place because they got good beers so nice Not a bad excellent idea. glad right. to add them to our roster all right. I mean, well, well I mean, uh, for for the for the next pour, I mean, uh, I'm a little by bi- maybe a little biased in saying this, but it just does anyone else have a have a new state to add to the list? Because it seems know. like anyone who has a new state might be a uh, a good person to go next, maybe. So that's you. No? I assume. Oh, well, I do actually. You? I have one. Yes. <laughs> oh, 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 I, I have well, it. So I captain. guess it would only be us. It would all right. Well, yes. the beer. It would only be polite uh, for our next. Sponsored pour. There you to go. Be, uh, oh, how nice. To be, uh, it is a, a sponsored pour from our sponsor, Restoria Beer and Cheese Dip Mars at 35 11 Dip Mars. This is from the, uh, let's see here, the Mountains Walking Brewery in Bozeman, Montana. 
Oh, fun. and this is it's a beautiful can art we see there. Yeah. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love yeah. the, the reflective really quality nice. to it. Yeah, really good. Um, all right. <laughs> and uh, Modernist and this, design. And this is from their dessert cart series, or as some people might hear it, the uh, "fuck you, Sean Hill" series. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, cookies and cream stout with lactose cookies and cocoa nibs. At a rousing ten point five percent ABV, uh, Captain, you're no, you do not go halfway with your beers, do you? Oh, there Never. We go. It's a little a quiet, little crack there, but it's already brimming over. Oh, oh, oh wow! Oh my goodness, that was just leaping right out of the can. It really was. Yeah. Yeah. Super dark with Some a ten percenter. It it's the kind of small head that you'd expect, but I do yeah, love that like brown color. A little he healthy, yeah. It is healthy, yeah. There yep. we go. It's. Uh, oh gosh. Got to make sure I get. Head on that. Especially as the sponsor pour, make sure you get the. <laughs> I, mean, you may not even I, like, I forgot how to do this i've been yeah. i've been out of town too long with well, those that, uh dublin here we go oh look at that oh, yeah the can is just so sparkly the beer is just so deep and dark and rich oh, oh that it looks smells beautiful. so good oh uh, my oh my well, all right I'll, I'll let you, you two fight it out for who wants to go next i'm just well, gonna go Huck, <laughs> Huck, well, i've already what. been rude today so my. i do feel like i need to to earn my my keep so uh would you like to go next Thank you very much. Well, my beer actually was uh, given to me by a good friend of mine named uh, The Beer Wonder. Oh, The Beer <laughs> Wonder. This is the okay. Coney Island SBC. Oh, fun. The South Brooklyn Cerveza. Oh, yes. And it's a. Uh, it's supposed to be a smoky uh, lager with lime and uh, lime peel and smoked malt. All right. You know how I love them smoky. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, I will say, I have sampled this one at their brewery location, which was very exciting. Oh, um, soft on the crack there. That's not going to... Oh, and it's got a nice uh, left-handed option. Oh, yeah. Before. Okay, great. Let's see what this looks like. This is going to be lagerlicious. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. It's nice and clear. Beautiful. Good, good creamy, foamy head on top of it. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's our first Coney Island beer, too. Yeah. Oh, it is. I That's think nice. so. Yeah. Coney Island Brewing. Yes. Right. Which is a uh, which is associated with the Boston Beer Company. Yes. Our dear friends, Uncle Sam. Sam. Excellent. There you All go. Right. All right. Well, uh, in in penance, I, I will take last place today. And uh, But I'm excited about the beer I'm bringing. It is, of course, a... Sponsored pour. Naturally, yes, from our friends at Story. Getting Bridge. better at that. You're doing great. You're doing great, <laughs> Captain. You're always fantastic. Killing it. This is the Going Places from our friends at Hopewell Brewing, which is out of Chicago. Well, very nice. So that's Second City. This is another nice IPA. Um, it's got that new wave fresh citrus. They're putting out that like prickly finish. It's going to be a nice like New Englandy kind of sweet thing. So I'm excited to try it out. Also a casual 6.8. So uh, it'll be a good beer. Here we go. Take a look. Okay. And there we go. Have we had Illinois beers on before? We, we have. have. Had. Yeah. Now this one is not as hazy as I guess I would have mm -hmm. expected. Mm -hmm. Definitely not as hazy as Charles's beer. Um, but still got that nice golden straw color. Mm -hmm. Good head build up. I'm digging it. I'm a fan. Very good. All right. Yeah. Well, now that we are all officially oh. poured, everyone raise a glass. All right. Cheers. Slancha. Cheers. 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 Kampai. It's a chin. chin. Oh, very nice. Oh. Ooh. Now, of course, yeah, the head is completely gone now, as you can oh, see. Oh, yeah, no, it disappeared. <laughs> Mine is holding on very aggressively. Really My is, head does yeah. not want to go down at all. <laughs> it's, like it's got uh, small bubbles there, too. It's a tightly packed head, or is that my uh, vision? No, no, you're 100% right. Um, it, and it's just, it's like, it will not let go, which is great. It's good for the aromas, of course. But, mm. I'm yeah, definitely getting yeah. smokiness on this. I know you undersold yeah. the smoke, but... Got a really nice smoky nose. Got that like almost uh, bacony quality, mm -hmm. and the the flavor is great with the lime. It's a, just a nice combination. Brings it yeah. on the and the and the finish is very. Uh, hmm, would definitely get that the the uh, that smoke on the finish as well. So the smoked malts are in there. I'm getting it on the the nose and on the finish and a little bit on the on the tongue too. Yeah, 
Um, this one was a discovery uh, that I will go into later in our weekend beer. Um, All right. But uh, but I, I I tasted this one uh, mm. and immediately thought that uh, Huck definitely needed to have uh, a can in his possession to add to his smoky beer collection. And I've got oh, and there's a term I used I didn't use last week. I was trying to think of chill haze. Yes, that's it. Oh, you can definitely chill, see haze, chill haze and the condensation. Oh, oh chill, I see that. Haze. Yeah. I see that on the glass. Yeah. I was going to be in the hook up, so now we already Let's see one out of the Two way. Two birds, yeah. one stone. <laughs> now I want to hear more about this uh, uh, banana pineapple. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, tell us, Charles. All right, so here? so it's straw, it's strawberry banana. Okay. It's I, I'm sorry, I was. Oh, I'm sorry. Neg- strawberry Heavy. banana. Yeah, yeah. It, um, I'm sorry, I was negligent. It's seven point mm. mm-hmm. IPA. All right. And um, so I, I see, like my suds kind of just disappeared. But uh, when you drink it. So this is going to sound weird, but when you drink it, you're like, wait, should a beer taste like that mm-hmm. at first? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for it on their gram. So they is do it, a lot is of it banana? Is it straw? Like, so, where's, where is all exactly. the Exactly. So it's, yeah. yeah, it's a, it's a dry hop beer. Okay. Um, it's conditioned on pureed banana and pureed strawberry. Oh, wow. Okay. So, you know, I know there are some banana flavored beers where it's the yeast gives you that mm-hmm. banana flavor, but. Right. With this, they actually pureed the bananas and, and con- conditioned it on it. And um, so you have that kind of – you. I've had strawberry beers where it's like it's bitter. You know, it brings out the acidity. This this is sweet because there's vanilla in it and mm-hmm. a touch of – I think a touch of lactose in it. Yeah, so, I think so. So, uh, so uh, it's very creamy, a big mouthfeel. And uh, at first you're like, wait – this beer shouldn't taste like this and then you a couple more sips in and you're like i'm enjoying this this is kind of almost like uh desserty you know i'm sure uh are you, so are you getting the banana on there oh yeah so the banana is very forward and then the aftertaste you get a sweeter strawberry so it's it's no. it's it's like it is fruity it's uh I wouldn't say it's like fruity, like you would uh, have like with a sour. You're like, oh yeah, this is fruit. This fruit, it's, it's that IPA kind of fruit. It like yeah. complements the uh, the hops, I suppose, mm-hmm. where the hops aren't coming off as bitter. So, uh, so you're uh, complementing like more on a sweet, sweet kind of fruit, fruit like fruit like we're used to in the. Uh, like real the, fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say like, yeah, where it's like, oh, this mango, I, I have the hint, uh, this mango hints of, because the wind blew the uh, the mango flavored uh, scents of, you know, these hops and, on, the, on the West Coast. Uh, this is actually the fruit. And like you said, it's like almost like, I don't know if it's because. Oh, it's, look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's all literally the collecting. The, yeah. And if you see the, it's, 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 it's whether it's the wild yeast that's, that's settling there too from, or, or it's also some of that puree coming in. This can and be common sure. in these, in these beers where they use real mm-hmm. fruit. If they use a lot of it, then that can happen mm-hmm. with those. And also you showed me that you said the can, is it an older uh, can? Cause, uh, yes. So, uh, been sort of a fanboy you guys for a little bit and there, there might might have been a like a oh you know maybe you can get uh you know have a chat with these guys about beers and stuff so i had uh had this for a little bit of time <laughs> <laughs> like uh i would say and i was like this would be a great beer if like I could ever get invited on this and get yeah, indoctr- indoctrinated into the uh, beer ventures here. And uh, so Hashtag I was. <laughs> it's a so high I bar was... to get indoctrinated into the beer ventures, to be sure. Right, right, right. <laughs> At least one time, one time, sir. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I, me, my brother in law, and my sister, we go on these like beer ventures in uh, Delaware. So uh, mm. this was uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. And so like Thanksgiving, we were, uh, we were doing our. Let's find a new, let's find another, uh, you know, brewery. So we always go, we make an homage trip, a pilgrimage to Dogfish Head. Naturally. One last because time. that's now the Disneyland of uh, <laughs> breweries, in my opinion, on the uh, East Coast. So uh, now that, that's uh, actually kind of interesting to me because a lot of the play, people that we talk to who are from or spend a lot of time or have lived in these regional areas, they sometimes are a little disdainful of the ones we've actually heard of. 
not disdainful. He's like, oh yeah, like we had uh, when we had uh, the cowbell on. He was talking mm. about right. uh, like, oh yeah, bells, founders, whatever. Um, <laughs> I got, I've got the best. And same thing with uh, and and uh, and so it's interesting. Dogfish head is definitely the closest to a macro that you have because it's got the widest distribution. But you right. still have great respect for dogfish head. Yeah, and they're still right. independently owned. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. They've- and 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 they do and they really do. I mean, they're 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 sixty and they're ninety or one twenty. They're, yeah. they're definitely innovators. Mm-hmm. Yes, as my as my shirt says, it's uh, off centered ales for off centered people. So, uh, I mean, so what I would say is like growing up, me and my sister, whether it was iced, I want to say we were drinking when we were young, but like we would be like, hey, let's go. We'll let's get to go. that in your uh, in your story. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Your origin, yeah. We're, sure. always, we're always like drinking like iced teas and stuff like that and the new flavors. And that's why like Dogfish has always been like, we would want to see what they're innovating on because they just keep uh, trying to push the envelope. I've had a oh, yeah. cho- chocolate lobster stout that Ooh. they do every once in a while. Main, main lobsters with a, a chocolate. What is either a porter stout, but had to try it it's kind of pricey but you know yeah, that's a captain beer right there <laughs> yeah in fact lobster speaking stuff. of chocolate i want to sort of weigh in a little bit on this one like i said the head pretty much disappeared right away right and, and i'm starting to reevaluate what the whole what cookies and cream actually means when it comes to beer because <laughs> i don't think cookies and cream used to be i think i think the whole flavor for ice cream was started because they couldn't put oreos in the name because they would have to pay for that Sure, uh, but you there the what people loved about them was like the chunks of Oreo, but mm-hmm. with like the idea of the flavors being cookies and cream, it's more chocolate and milk than really trying to replicate the flavor of an Oreo with that whatever that chemically stuff they have mm-hmm. in between right. the cookies is that we all we all loved as children, but it's it's probably toxic garbage. Uh, well, <laughs> but uh, like for instance, I look at this one and it says uh, what specifically says it's with lactose cookies and cocoa nibs. And I definitely taste that creaminess with the lactal uh, mm-hmm. mouth feel and I taste that mm-hmm. chocolatey thing in there and it's uh, a- a- and with very subtle booziness it's weird it's like one of those things you know sometimes uh, certain beers almost there's like you get a little sense of not cola flavor but something like the consistency of cola mm-hmm. I'm getting a little bit of that oh, yeah. with this one interesting with a stout an imperial mm-hmm. stout okay. that's intriguing yeah but uh, yeah really really good Okay, or like a chocolate soda or something, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I gotta say, so this is a, a delightful IPA, really kind of hitting that Midwest IPA thing that we talked about during my yeah. misadventures in Wisconsin. Um, <laughs> so it's sort of in there. Um, but I, lo- I was reading the description. Well, first off, the brewery is great. They're locally minded, you know, in the Logan Square area in Chicago. So way to go, um, being out in the neighborhoods and repping for that. Um, but. The way that they describe it is a vibrant combo of new wave hops offering fresh citrus, tropical fruit, and sticky pine with a prickly finish. And this idea of a prickly finish is something I really notice with this beer, because right when it goes down, you kind of get smacked with all those bitter hops. Like you were like, oh, this is a nice like tropical adventure, kind of what Charles is going on with all these bananas and something. And then at the very end, it's like, no, screw you. There are hops in here and you're going <laughs> to like it. So it hits really hard at the end. And then there's this big, like, drying sensation. So it's an adventurous beer. Like, it takes you on a journey. You think you fall in love with it. Then it smacks you. And then you come back for more. It's just, it's a it's a complicated relationship. But I'm in for it. What percentage did you say it was? 6.8. Nice. It's yeah, very 6. respectable. Yeah. Exactly. 6.8. You know, it's, yeah, a, it's my- a delightful, delightful little charming beer. Yeah, mine's a lot lighter, much more of a sessional, uh, sessional bowl. Uh, four point eight. Yeah, that one I feel like would be a good one to drink, like by a campfire. You know, uh, that's uh, that's the description here. The uh, and and it has the IBU on here (laughs) sixteen. Well, it's not even trying then. Low IBU. (laughs) Yeah, it's Uh, like uh, uh, I was just trying to figure out where they brew it because. so this, I, I do know that this is, so of course, because, you know, Uncle Sam has thrown a bunch of money at our dear friends at Coney Island and like, way to go. A lot of their more Uncle core Sam. beers, like their Mermaid uh, Pilsner and their Merman IPA and things like that are now being, you know, contract brewed out in a larger location, but they still have tanks down at Coney Island. And so yeah. it looks like they, this was brewed in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's a lot of their more experimental ones are being done down at Coney Island. Um, mm-hmm. And so I haven't seen this one in stores, really. I picked it up at the brewery um, to get it to you, but it's a... Uh, 
but they've they're, they're doing fun stuff down there um you know and it's a it's a great spot if you happen to be there they've got a big open area so you can be nice and COVID right. safe if you want that it's right by the beach excellent wait staff just the the most fun ridiculous people you'll ever meet um, lots of tattoos and like kind of punk rock grunge feel it's really great so if you happen to be in gotham city you should swing by there and you know also maybe i don't know go say hi to some fish while you're down there it's just a thought <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a great spot, and I think that they've uh, over the years they've done a lot of really interesting uh, interesting beers, and you know being being bought by the bigger company, the bigger company in this case is Uncle Sam at Boston Beer Company, and they're you know they still have their roots in craft beer, so it's not like uh, you know they're one of the the big five, but they are getting bigger. I was thinking that uh, that uh, they have the Breaking Bad analogy is that uh, the Boston Beer Company they're the ones who knock. <laughs> They are you know the ones I mean? who knock. They are the ones who knock now. They they also went into a partnership with Dogfish Head too, so they kind of I don't know what it. Oh, was that was, right? I feel like when yeah, when, when Uncle it, Sam shows they up, they just the kind of throw money and organization at groups. Like they don't mm. come in and try and take over and right. you know really integrate so them into far. some sort of like mass production so far. Right. But at least with, I know with the folks down at, at Coney, they basically were like, here, have money. We're going to make your big beers off site. You go be creative and make fun things. Yeah. Be a craft brewery, which is and great. Mermaid Pilsner is a good beer. Oh yeah. That's the quality of pills. I had a weird uh, show tune moment there when we, we did that, that nefarious so far just made me think of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think of that one in, in Evita. It's like, you must be quite relieved you are still independent so far. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone knows that that song is, you know. Oh, it's... What was I watching? Oh, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, you know, the woman, Fran Lebowitz. There's a documentary yeah. about her. And she, like, saw the original, or was that the table read for the, the original? Evita, yeah. Uh, Evita. And she was like, who makes a musical about Eva Peron? This is a terrible idea. Yeah. Terrible idea. <laughs> and she, then, of course, it goes on to make all this yeah, money. And she, this and is says, why I no one should ever ask me my I think it's and, still yeah. a terrible idea. Right. <laughs> terrible idea, but no one should really ask me my opinion about what should be a hit. I think all the all the Hayes Bros good. listening are like, "What's happening?" <laughs> talking about yeah. talking about musical musical theater. show tunes. Uh, <laughs> well, the, what, I, welcome to the complications of being a beer avenger. Hey, this yes. is a beer avenger world. world. A, yeah. We are a big tent. Also, happy Pride, everyone. Happy yes, Pride. Happy Pride. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, should, uh, and we yeah, haven't anytime, had the gay anytime, beer on the show. Anytime. No, 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 no. Gay beer, not accept. Not, 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 not welcome. I've tried it. I did not. It's not a good beer. I will, they, now, there is, I will say, New York City Brewers Guild is doing, this is, I guess, for Weekend Beer a little bit, but New York City Brewers Guild is currently doing an Instagram hunt for all of the pride-based beers that are made by New York City breweries. So there's mm-hmm. a ton that have got great beers that are supporting wonderful LGBTQ nonprofits and whatnot. Um, I'm hoping to grab a couple for future shows. So tune I, in. I smell an upcoming theme show. Oh, potentially. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, I know that uh, the Torch and Crown just put out Chasing Rainbows and uh, Threes Brewing has a, a beer called a nice uh, hoppy lager called Gender mm-hmm. Neutral. And so there's a lot of uh, of uh, uh, Pride Month themed beers for sure, which is great. And a lot but of them are going towards uh, different charities, too. So yeah, that's, exactly. Uh, but you know what we are cool. proud of? What we're proud of, we're proud of indoctrinating our newest beer ventures. Our we beer are, we are. are. I know it seems like we sometimes we go off on tangents and anything, and 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 if you think we do, you're right, we do. That because that's part of it. Yeah, <laughs> that's part of it. Um. Anyway, so, so far. yes, and thank you for that for that gracious, uh, genteel, uh, the segue. It was a wonderful segue. I was, I was trying to th- thank you. Are there, thank are you. there other words that were in my brain somewhere, but they are clouded by this? Beautiful 10.5% Montana beer. Oh, uh, beer but yes. Nice job, Captain. What was but the name yes, of the brewery uh, beer, again, Cap? Uh, <laughs> it, is, it is called Mountains Walking. Oh, that's a oh, great and, name. And if you drink too many of these, the mountains might start walking, it seems <laughs> they like. Might, they <laughs> might. Same like Burnham Wood or something. Now we're into Shakespeare. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I just made a Shakespeare reference. Uh, so All right. That. So uh, now we've gotten away from our segue and into another thing, and we're back into <laughs> our segue uh, because, yes, Beer Wonder has a very good point. There comes a time in every aspiring beer vendor's life uh, that it becomes time for them to tell what we lovingly <laughs> refer to on the Beer Vengers beer cast as their origin story. Origin story! Origin story! 
That's right. It is time now for the Beer Avenger origin story of Charles Moran. And it's especially exciting because him telling the story is part of his origin story. Is that meta enough for you? Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. I can't uh, even. I'm just going to have to odd. Oh, that's right. So, so, so Charles, uh, tell us. This is how we usually start these things. And I so, see no reason to, uh, to bend from tradition. Do you recall your earliest experience at whatever young age you were when you first became aware of uh, how you experienced beer? Yes. <laughs> and there, and thank you for coming. All right. Well, uh, would you like to be more specific? Yes. Uh, I will, interesting enough, I think I just know that as a little kid, not that I was drinking, as a little kid, I always remember my dad sitting at those tables with those stubby bottles. Mm. You guys, oh, I know oh, you guys yeah. talked about it in the past the stubby yeah. bottles. Oh yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Um. I remember I was asking, what, what, what's, what are you drinking, Dad? What's the stubby bottle? He's like, ah, I just need to gain weight. I'm just too skinny. So that's that's what beer is to, to in the beginning, right? right. And then, it's, like, it's like a protein shake. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I want to build muscle. <laughs> no. um, but uh, I guess it, it has to be Bud. It's always, it's always Bud. It starts always with Bud. Of bud. I did have those yeah. in the stubby bottles, yeah. Because I don't think... The amazing uh, craft brewery type movement was around at that time, and uh, go to a party and you have one one bud and two buds, three buds. By three, you're like, oh, this is this is enough buds. But yeah. uh, uh, my my most enjoyable my most enjoyable experience with with beer was when I went to Ireland. Mm. I would have to say, uh, I would say, mm, I went to school upstate. My buddy went to school in the city. So, like, I went to, I when I was downstate, we would go to bars, and I, I just, you would have to have a Guinness. To me, that's, that's what a beer was, a Guinness. Mm -hmm. And then you go to Ireland, and you're like, whoa, this, this is a Guinness, right? Yes. You're like, yeah. why? There is chunks of wood in this. Like I am, <laughs> I'm drinking the chunks of wood. This is thick. This is awesome. So I'd have a Guinness and I'd have a cider because mm -hmm. that was like an amazing change of pace. And I was good. You have to drink one and keep the other one company. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was always a Guinness and a and a Bud and and then. And what was know, this? If you if you were over in uh, in England or Ireland, what was what was the name of what do they call Magners over there? I always forget it. Yeah, Bomers. Bomers, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, you just take two, and you're kind of toasty over there, and you're like, "Wow, I never feel like this way in the states when I have my one or one Guinness and one woodchuck cider or whatever it was at the yeah. time, raspberry cider." Um. But my most enjoyable story that I like to tell about uh, so like. I went to school upstate before I went to Ireland. My buddy said, let's go out one time before you go to Ireland. We went to Nevada Smith. You guys know that place? Yeah. Nevada I remember Smith. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still there? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's still there. I used to down occasionally, there's a the movie theater up, about a half a block from there. I remember you used to occasionally go there before yeah. or after that, that, that seeing movies there. Yeah. So we had a drink there. Now, when I went to Ireland, uh, I had a cousin in Ireland. She she got me tickets to see a hurling match. So when we went to the hurling match, I uh, the, the guys that she hooked me up with, they took me to a bar. And uh, I had the colors of the team that won. And when I started to walk to the bathroom, this huge older feller grabs me and is like, so who do you think is going to win the finals? And I was like, what? What? <laughs> 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 I'm just wearing a ribbon that has colors on it. So, but uh, the guy stepped in and go, no, no, no. He's from America. You know, we're like, oh, America. I have a son who owns a bar in America. Oh. I'm like, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. America. Yeah. He's like, he's in New York. Where are you from? I'm like, uh, New York. And I'm like, how could this keep going? New York's pretty big, yeah. right? He goes, so it's Nevada Smiths. And I'm like, <laughs> what? And we're in a random pub in Cork. So it's kind of like, okay. He's like, you go there and you tell them have a drink on George. I'm like, 
all right, yeah, sure. I go back. I said, this guy says we should go here and have a drink on him. And we went inside the bar. And the guy comes over, what can I get you? I was like, well, I just came back from Cork, Ireland. And uh, George says to have a drink on him. Because I'm kind of, as you can tell, I kind of can be like reserved, shot, yeah. pilot. Hey, and he's like, and the bartender's just like, all right, what do you have? And I'm like, <laughs> whoa, this works. It was like the wow. most amazing thing. Like just a randomly. Uh, so from there, I would say that's that's less like that's my my beer story of how like what I've enjoyed to drink as like Guinness beginning. And then, and then to segue into the craft. Sorry, I feel like makes I'm makes me wonder if George has a really big tab at Nevada Smith's, a big outstanding yeah. tab at Nevada Smith's, which, which, which is why that which why the bartender rolled. I was like, oh yeah, they will yeah. never pay me yeah. back. But. <laughs> yeah, they got us a picture of a because see then it was like cider back then, and I would say like they said all of a sudden there was this like new beer that was like starting to make its way into the bars, uh, Sierra Nevada. Mm -hmm. And it was like, so, Hey, why don't you try a Sierra Nevada? When you try a Sierra Nevada though, after years of bud or the flavorful Guinness, you're like, what, what is this? This is like your taste buds just could not adjust in the beginning. And it's so interesting because that's what, what some of the brewery tours, like Dogfish Head would say, because they, they would give a really great comprehensive uh, uh, brew tour when you go to them. Sure. And they would talk about a lot of the East Coast places, even some of the West Coast places I've been, they, they always give Sierra Nevada the praise that they are the ones who uh, helped foray, well, what's the thing where you start something? Uh, yeah, Trailblaze. Uh, Trailblaze. I like that. All right, yeah. we'll use that one for now. <laughs> I have a feeling it wasn't the word you were thinking of, but we'll use. But that's yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect yeah. placeholder. Yeah, and uh, so uh, yeah, I wasn't really jazzed about it. I would say I wasn't jazzed about it, but then my and parents. This is their pale ale, right? Yeah, yeah. The green, the green bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And now I can say I I I, I like it because my taste buds have adjusted to this point. But like when you're first there, I'm like, oh, this is never. It's never going to take, you <laughs> know, like bizarro mm -hmm. thinking. And, it's uh, funny that way, yeah. Um, so, like, I would say I didn't really, I got into, oh, this sounds weird, this song, but I, I got into mixed drinks, right? You know, like, mm -hmm. I was going to library school, become a librarian. So I was a librarian, libator, or whatever you want to call it. So, like, after a class, you have a gin and tonic or something like that. Yeah. So, um, and my parents like retired. Patron. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, got away from beer. Or every once in a while, you go, hey, we need a beer. Or we'd have Heineken Dark. Or we'd oh, have oh, Bex yeah. Dark. You know, we're going real back. There, Bex there Dark might have been one of my first dark beers. <laughs> yeah. And, and like the the, can, the bottle was like really cool because it was a different color. It was like a yeah. red. Uh, yeah. Um, and we, well, yeah. I mean, I really like the where, where we discovered that beer that was on, um, on St. Mark's Place. There's a, there's a, there was an old uh, dive type bar where all the punks used to go. Are you you're not talking about the Grassroots Tavern, are you? No, no. Because I really love uh, that place. Which which, which one yeah, do you yeah. mean? There's a few uh, on St. Mark's. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We we used to we used to call it the, Cocktail uh, Lounge. Was it called? Uh, yeah, Holiday yeah, Cocktail Holiday. Lounge. Uh, yeah, yeah. That was it. Yeah, that was it. Uh, and, the, and it was the sad when the guy pa passed. Lounge, yeah. yeah, it was, it was sad when the guy passed away and stuff. And but. Uh, they still kind of continued it, and it was interesting. They they discovered like a mural in the back from like the Prohibition era when they were like renovating after. And we used to call it the uh, the 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 vodka the vodka cran is vodka orange juice place because he would just pour a little orange juice and keep pouring vodka until the orange juice poured out, and you just had a, had a little <laughs> glass of vodka with some like smoggy stuff floating in it. A little pulp in there. Yeah, yeah. Very, a little very pulp. unique thing on the of, screwdriver. A hint of uh, flavor. Just a hint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it'd be like five bucks. And you're like, all right, yeah. <laughs> just give me the bottle. Anyways, but uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> there's my segue. So uh, in like around, I would say like 2004-ish, 5-ish, my parents retired and said, we're done with New York. Taxes are too high or whatever you the reason you leave for New York is, and uh, they went to Delaware. So my sister was going to University of Delaware, 
So I guess when they drove her, they were like, hey, this is nice. You know, Delaware is that place that you travel from New Jersey and Pennsylvania to get to Maryland and D.C. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, but apparently there's pretty cool stuff there, like future presidents. I don't know. But anyway, uh, so lots of credit card companies because the uh, tax laws are very generous. To yes, them. yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And that's why my parents are there. <laughs> but uh, not that they're, you know, anyway. So uh, me and my sister were there and we're like, why, why are we in the middle of nowhere? You know, like why? it's actually farmland, right? You have, you have a really nice beach coast. There's a, there's a, but we're like, we, we were near that. Del Mar Peninsula. Yeah. Yeah. Del so Mar, you, right? you were still living with your parents when they moved there. So you moved there with them. No, no. Oh, no. I, okay, yeah, this, I'm but sorry. This, yeah. I had moved out. Yeah. I'm a little, okay. You had moved out. So you're, a, you're a lifelong native New Yorker. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm the only one left. Kind of. Yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> have, we my, have we had any others of those? Charles is hitting, a, k- k- kicking a lot of uh, first time. Uh, boxes I know. Yeah, I'm yeah. working on. I'm trying to go with names as we go. Along. My 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 sister. Uh, this is just to jump back to some of your previous episodes. My mm. my sister lives in Virginia, so she has mm. really done a lot of. What is it? The Hardy Hardy. You guys featured it a lot. The well, Hardywood. The pan- oh, Hardywood. Pancakes, yeah. Hardywood yeah, pancake Hardywood, yeah. spouts and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Actually, I actually have one chilling in my. Oh, nice. Bridge, but nice. it's, it's, it's uh, you know it's a special special. <laughs> yeah, I, I so, actually I found a four pack of Hardywood uh, uh, Christmas morning recently that it, like uh, I could tell it it just it just something they hadn't sold from when it was there before. I'm like, okay, this is coming home with me. <laughs> oh man, so my go parents squir- did squirrel it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you see it right? <laughs> it's awesome. Very, it's going to be an interesting flavor. Such down there. chewy mouthfeel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah. knife and fork. anyway, yeah. so they had retired to Delaware and we were in the middle of nowhere. And I guess my sister kind of looked up a few things to do and it was like, well, there's a brewery here, dogfish. Mm-hmm. And we drove out there and it was, it was a factory. It was like a cannery because we're talking 04 and stuff. So it used mm-hmm. to be a cannery and we're walking into this warehouse and they're like, welcome. And they have like a picture. You want to go on a tour? Here's some plastic cups. And as we walk in the tour, they're like, oh, you need a refiller. This is our famous, this is our hope to be famous pumpkin, uh, pumpkin ale, right? Oh, yes. oh yeah. Pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with brown, it's like a, That's it's a, a good one. Indian brown, right? So it's like. I you know, love the Indian oh, brown. Is, yeah. Oh, I miss it's really good. So brown, good, yeah. yeah. I haven't had that in a long yeah. time. And, uh, and, and they had all these, these, they had, I don't know, it had to been like 10 choices. You're like, wait beers more than bud you know like right more than like uh i don't know it, it sounds sacrilegious like there's more than one stout you know it's not just guinness you know so like and you know and uh from there on it's been very interesting every time i go visit my parents to see from 2004 to to now how it went from like this uh kind of little hanger type factory that used to do canneries for, for things to like now it's like bells and whistles of uh like a disneyland type thing but that's yeah, uh, a major industry and from there on i would say like i'm so happy that the craft uh the craft movement was not around when i was in college because there probably would be problems you know because you know you might not have graduated yeah, you were like, I want to try that one and that one and that one. And so so that's uh, that's really how I became a lifelong beer, IPA-ish, got to sample everything type of guy. Yeah, so you're saying, you're saying if you have a go-to, it would be the IPA, but you like all of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, call Very me a good. variety pack. But uh, what's interesting is also not to keep – bantering but no uh, please <laughs> origin yeah, not- stories are important <laughs> huck, i can already and i'm glad huck's back because i can see huck is already brewing on a name it's i've been exciting. here the whole time oh he's been no, no, brewing no, no, on- but the last time we tried this he just wouldn't- <laughs> oh i see yeah he's i thought you said i checked out because i was like no, i was writing fine. i'm trying to write down names here <laughs> what wonderful wonderful uh segue because he's brewing on a name my sister married nice. uh, uh, a a chemist uh, whose hobby is to brew beers. So like, it's like pretty, pretty uh, awesome to like try his clones and like really get in-depth stories. And, and I guess that's just to come back to this guy is Thanksgiving, me and the brother-in-law trying a whole bunch of beers. And I think we did get 
tipsy enough that when they told us that they were having a a, a can sale because it's the day before Thanksgiving, we were like, we'll buy them all. Ten dollars for four packs. We just we just strawberry banana. Yeah, they they had something a drippy double. It's something called the dripping double hazy IPA. Anything mm-hmm. with a little lactose to soften the, the the bitterness of the hops. But sometimes you do need that 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 bitterness of the hops. But have, has anybody found that like when you guys when you guys do you guys go through like phases? Oh yeah. Like right. Like oh, yeah. na- now I, I I am back to the. IPA with uh with like the lactose kind of and I want to get the hazy. Mm-hmm. But last summer I was like Pilsner, Pilsner. Okay. Pilsner. And then the summer before that it was I gotta get my hands on those sours, you know. Oh, what's this sour? What are you playing mm-hmm. with this? I would That's say me. That's why I have five different yeah. beer avenger names. <laughs> so you keep them in I reserve. Just, I just find it really fun to to go through those phases and go what what's what this what season is my taste buds telling me like and and I was really bummed about this winter not because of covid but well, partly not just because, because of covid, of COVID. Not, not just, just because, because of covid not just because of covid Let right. me say not, that. yeah 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 I mean yeah uh but I was bummed because I felt like I needed stouts and it was really hard to find stouts in some of the the bars n- near me I actually went to get to my beer bodega, as I call it. Um, yeah. One of I, I saw it on uh, Captain was uh, featuring it on one of his episodes was uh, the uh, Rasputin. Old like, Rasputin, you know yeah. They just started it's, showing up again. Yeah, I was like, it's time to get that Rasputin. So Absolutely. like, I, I went there and splurged on a Rasputin. Don't really have to splurge on a Rasputin though. Well, yeah, because everything <laughs> no, else is so much more expensive yeah. now. It's like, yeah. wow, Rasputin yeah. only yeah. only like. Like somehow now five dollars for a, a a a bottle of something is like that's a bargain. Yeah. But, what uh, uh, yeah. was the neighborhood you grew up in? Q Gardens, Queens. Q Gardens in Queens. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I uh, I I'm... love that movie theater there. Oh, uh, the the one that used to be uh, a porno. A porno. Oh, I, well, I, that, that, that's before my time. That's why but, I loved uh, it. That's why I love yeah. it. It still has still has that smell. No, um, no. The way but now it's, it's an like, art cinema. It's an art, art cinema, cinema now. Yeah, Isn't yeah, that yeah. how it always goes? Smut it's to art cinema. Smut. Or, or art really, cinema. honestly, that or like Disney theater on Forty Second Street. That's the other option. True. True. <laughs> but no, the yeah, the Q Gardens was they had, had an art cinema and it's like six dollars on Tuesday nights. Yes. So yes. yeah, I've done, yeah. I, I mean, I was. Uh, In fact, it's that's burned... the first reason I ever went to Q Gardens, I believe. Really. That's yeah. awesome. Because sometimes I'm kind of like, uh, when I was, you know, wherever you grow up, you're kind of like, uh, Kew Gardens. But apparently it's also one of the <laughs> only places in the whole country that has a a bridge with stores that goes over a train station. There's something unique about that. Oh. Charlie Chaplin lived there. Will Rogers lived there. Okay. okay. All, the, all, the movie, all the movie guys from the uh, silent era, they, they apparently went over to Astoria. I remember what I liked about it the first time I ventured into that neighborhood was just because I don't I don't have particularly nostalgia for small town America, but I do find it not that I don't like wish I was living in small town America, but sometimes it is kind of charming to see it every once in a while. And the first time I went to Kew Gardens, like I felt like I was in a a small town upstate, like you know just somewhere yeah. in, in like you know somewhere like Oswego or something like that. Yeah, it just yeah. Kind of had that that vibe to it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, thing. Thanks. Thanks. All right. I got appreciation now. <laughs> but I, it, um, something interesting about it, too, is that the, the bus goes to JFK. So you get a lot of like flight attendant people who live around there. Sure. Mm-hmm. And I want to talk about that. Same thing where I am with LaGuardia. I want to I I go on about that uh, that movie theater. So for, yeah. for two things, it's historical in my family is that that's the place where my dad took his brother when his brother was getting married for his... his uh, his um, uh, what is the thing? When he, yes, he's like, I'm gonna take you to a porno. So they went to the porno when it was a porno, and then I went there when it was not a porno. Although I walked by it while I was in elementary school as a porno, I went there as when you it was, do. <laughs> yeah, One does. you're like, oh, what is that? Um, how does that work? No, anyway, um, when it was the art cinema, I went and saw the swimming pool. Which was like a, a Charlotte Rampling. I remember that uh, one, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, I think I saw it somewhere like in the 
in like the East Village. But yeah, I definitely yeah. saw that movie. I remember it. Yeah. And I was like, she was, was naked in it a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I guess still staying with the theme. But uh, yeah, when I went, uh, <laughs> it was not went... it was not a porno. It was this was not a <laughs> no, porno. It wasn't. Rambling. Let's just be clear no, about that. It was yeah. a very yes. beautiful artistic film by this. Uh, I thought forget, she forgetting she the name of the director, but I'll get to that. It definitely deserved a uh, Oscar. She she was yes. so powerful in it, and you're like, wow, Ozone? this is the woman. Ozone. This is... Was that name of the director? Francois Ozone. I'll, 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 I'll I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> um, but uh, I went to the morning one because, like you said, they have like uh, they have discounts. So, like, I went to the first uh, showing of the swimming pool because I was like, I want to see this. It's got great uh, reviews, and uh, I was just very interested in French cinema at the time. I watched it. I thought it was awesome. It was trippy. <laughs> kind of blows your mind because you're like, wait, is this the same person or yeah. whatever? But everybody who's listening, watch the movie. And you'll see what I'm talking about. But when I went home, I was like, all right, I feel like, and my parents and my sister, they asked me to stay at the house. Well, my parents asked me to stay at the house because they were going away. So I was going to house sit for a little bit. So I went home. To the Queen's home, not the Brooklyn home at the time. Sure. And uh, I said, let me clear my mind. So I'm going to turn on a cartoon. I'm going to watch, uh, there was Pokemon. I'm a weird guy. So I went from French to Pokemon. So I turned on the TV, theme song from this Pokemon thing, which I was not really a fan of, but I was like, I wanted to clear my mind from the from the deepness of the cine, cine art. And uh, the TV blinked out. And I was like, what? Ah, oh, shit. I screwed up the TV. Oh, sorry if I said shit. Um, no, oh this is God. an explicit <laughs> podcast. <laughs> oh, my know. God. The librarian. No, anyways. Uh, so what a vocabulary he has. Anyway. This is why so... you're going to need an assumed name by the end of the episode. <laughs> exactly. So, so no true. one can associate the, your, 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 your explicit mouth uh, with uh, your <laughs> library. We won't mention your library by name. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> That's why I was vague. No, it's fine. So uh, yeah, it blinked out, and I was like, "Oh crap! I uh, I I screwed up the uh, the TV. They're gonna fucking kill me when they come back." So like, I was just like, "All right, maybe I'll give it a few minutes." And then I went and I tried to turn on the light, and I'm like, "Why won't the light turn on?" I turn on the stereo because I'm like, "I'll listen to music." Why won't the stereo turn on? It was that like East Coast cascading blackout that happened oh, yeah. for like a whole weekend so like i was like i am saving the swimming pool ticket and i'm writing blackout day and i just keep thinking if i hadn't gone to the first show and i went to the second show mm. i'd be still sitting in that cinema with everything black being like you either give my money back or you're fixing how, how i'm gonna watch the rest of this movie so <laughs> oh, the 2003 blackout yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that must that have been it one. yeah that was a big one well, there was, was another one. There was another one. I think it was 2005 or 2006. You know, that was specific to Queens. It was 2003. But because... uh, the first one was. But there was yeah. another one that was specific to Queens. It may not have been happening in Kew Gardens. But I, I mm. remember, I do remember it specifically because I think it was 2006, but I can't say for sure. Uh, but I remember going to movies. The blackout thing was happening. I started going to movies to spend time away from my apartment thinking when I got home, it might be over. <laughs> and, and one of the things I think I did was I went to that same movie theater and I saw Stra the strangers with candy movie. Oh, so nice. we figure out what year that was. That's that, that's the, the Queens <laughs> black. But it lasted like a week, almost a week. Uh, it was like a Tuesday or Wednesday through to like Saturday or something. Uh, yeah. Remember I had to shave by candlelight. Yeah, it was the weirdest how, like, everything was just dead and quiet in the silence of the city. <laughs> yes. I didn't even come back until it was over, but I paid the price. I had to I had to uh, throw away a massive amounts of beef and calamari. Oh, and that's, that was, uh, that that's was a tragedy. I, I, I moved to New York City days after the 2003 one. Uh, oh, good timing. <laughs> like, came, the lights came back on. I was getting on an airplane being like, will there be electricity in the city I'm moving to? <laughs> We're going to find out. It's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> picture the picture the beer wonder like doo -doo 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 -doo, just walking into town <laughs> hey everybody no seems power. uptight what's going on here <laughs> it's a big city everything seems fine to me together. exactly well listen got i got a, i got world. a uh i got a beer 
Oh wait! Oh wait! Oh my goodness! Are we on to second pours already? I think we yeah, are. Well, in actually, we're, we're quite a while into the show here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is exciting because this, this is, is a, a, this is a, an epic uh, origin story. <laughs> well done! Well done! Uh, this is a uh, uh, beer Avengers exclusive. Oh wow! Look at this. Oh, oh it's whoa. a tiny can. No oh my god! With no label on it. No oh, label. Even knows. <laughs> This is a preview beer that only only we're getting here uh, at the Beer Avengers. Uh, uh, this is called the uh, uh, Tuscan Sunset, and it's a sm- again smoked a smoked Hellas. That's a smoky and day t- for the captain. They for, say uh, Huck. Tuscan. We're not talking about Italy. We're talking about Tatooine. Ooh. All right, so this is a beer uh, that's a favorite of the Tuscan Raiders. Okay. Which are no- better known as the Sand People, or AKA the Sand People. Let's take a look. Well, what what brewery is it from? It's from fifty four forty Brewing. Yes. Oh, very good. In Washougal, hey, Washington. Oh, oh good old Washougal. Very Washugal. translucent look, beer. Yeah. Such a clear beer. Very clear. Yeah. You can see Beautiful it head it. production. Washougal is home to a couple of breweries. It's a really popular spot for beer out there. It's also a fun name to say for us. Not town. getting as much of a smoky nose as I did off the first one. Sorry, I lost the mic there for a moment. Apologies for my unprofessional. All right. Let's, yeah, let's see that adorable little uh, blank can again. <laughs> right, the can. I forgot. <laughs> the so can art on this uh, one really is taking got me this, home. Uh, so, <laughs> it's very minimalist. Yeah, we got this so exclusively that uh, uh, they didn't have the labels ready yet. They're working I, on it. I have seen the label though. It's nice. It's nice. Uh, and uh, so this is uh, on Tatooine as and as the Banthas settle in for the night, the ever aggravated Tuscan Raiders spark up a campfire and pop a top on their favorite smoked beer. The ferocious battle cries slowly change into chuckling grunts as the smooth malt character of Tuscan Sunset tickles their sun-drenched palates. How do they drink? I mean, do they take the bandages <laughs> off? Or? No one knows. I mean, they, maybe they use straws. They probably have a, some kind of straw. Oh, yeah, there we go. The gentle note of smoke from this straw-colored lager reminds these sandy savages of a similar time before old Ben started harassing them. Mm. We hope this unique, easy drinker brings you a little reprieve from your hot summer day too. 4.7%, another light one. Not so smoky, but certainly refreshing. All right. Light. What are the words? Drinkable? Drinkable. Drinkable. Sessionable. Approachable. Quaffable. And very approachable. Very approachable. Exactly. Uh, all right. Well, beginner's I'm... smoke because there's no, there's no smoke. <laughs> let me try, <laughs> let me try the, the, the tongue trick here. Yeah, no. No, don't don't do it. The, the tongue trick. Never works for me either. It's fine. Really? No, I like the tongue trick. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna make up for the lack of can art with this one. Uh, this is uh this is one I've had one I got from Tavor. Oh. Uh, it is uh from the DC area. To it's uh if I if I read this correctly, it is two breweries that are in uh, one is in Maryland, one is in Virginia, but they are in the DC area. Mm-hmm. They are Adroit Theory and Kushwa oh, yeah. Brewing. And this is a Russian Imperial Stout, and it is called Future You Hates You. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, that can of art is angry. That wow. really is. is. It reminds me a little yeah. of the Nightmare one you had a, a couple of weeks ago. Yes, and yes. Uh, mm-hmm. and I'm going to get a little more into some of the incredible – well, it's 13.5%er, by the way. Oh, uh, Captain, you're setting yourself up for success. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Future uh, you hates thing, you. Uh, good thing we're recording this because I don't always remember the end of the things when these <laughs> come into play. Uh, oh, wow, this and also like so dark, but oh, yeah. wildly oh, like, oh, for a thirteen percent wow. beer. That is a Look lot at that of amazing head. head. Yeah, I know. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. I'll, I'll, um, yeah. It's going to be I a while. Like how it's settled. <laughs> it's a, it's a it's like a sixteen ounce. It's going to be a while before thirteen point five. Uh, mm-hmm. It's going to be a while before I, so I can I can only show you this thing that I think is when I said there's a lot of information on this can. It's so great because we talk about various food pairings and. And dessert pairings. This one, on the side of it, yeah, you can't see that at all, really, in here. No, but it's like it's it's food, cheese, cigar, Mm -hmm. and music. Oh, and it has recommendations for all four categories for what goes best with this beer, which I think is pretty cool. What is the uh, music, if you don't mind? Music is uh, the Depression Sessions by Acacia Stain. Wow. Okay. Thy art is murder, fit for an autopsy. Well, all of this. Fits. I don't know which one of those are song titles and which is the name of the group, but that's all the words that are on there. Well, I guess the wow. group is a K. A K. Things has Acacia Stain, unless it or it's Acacia Strain. Strain, yes. Acacia Strain. I'm sorry, I'm it's look, a, I'm know. looking them up now. 
The Depression. This is an album, The Depression Sessions. She oh, I see. So album. that's the okay. name of the album. They give you two tracks from the album that would. Uh... Yeah, and the. Uh... Well, I'm going to mute myself and listen to this track. I was going to say, Charles, do you have <laughs> a uh, second pour for us today? I do. Can okay. I can I run get it? Because I want it still chill. And... Oh, yeah. Go get it. Absolutely. I, yeah. I, I, I didn't. I didn't have a portable fridge under my. my that is okay. You, you All know right, what I'll you be right do. <laughs> you know, I thought it was really interesting where Charles was talking about how uh, the way your uh, tastes shift and ebb and flow, mm-hmm. and mine do. They mm-hmm. just don't with such a uh, wide range as some of you guys. Well, uh, I think the idea of seasonality in beer drinking is is I was going to mention that that, yeah. that many people it's do something I reject, to. but yes, yeah. it's something you reject, but many people do ascribe so, to something so. I reject, but it doesn't mean I don't have a range. That's the true. range That's is just true. a much more of a narrow field. Like what yes. I was talking about uh, in a few recent episodes, I've been talking about how lately I've been craving more of these Russian imperial stouts and a little less of the dessert uh, pastry stouts. Mm-hmm. I still enjoy mm-hmm. the pastry stouts, but uh, man, I can't tell you how excited I was when I saw what Charles was just talking about when uh, when, when old Rasputin came back into our universe again. Mm-hmm. And so All it's right, nice Charles. To have- yeah. You drink uh, uh, lagers and IPAs and sours as well. I mean, you're, you're not exclusive to the uh, Porter Brown Stout. <laughs> Life, exactly. Life. I've seen you drink others. But yeah, you're, you are consistent where the rest of us, well, at least I, I mean, I'm always changing. I've been living the lager life past few years. I don't know how long that's going to last. Am I going to go back to IPAs? Am I going to get more into Lambics? I don't You know, who knows? You do Lambics. you, Huck. <laughs> it's okay, Huck. I'm holding the IPA for it down along with Charles. Um, but Charles, what do you have for us? Well, since I talked about them for like a few, you know, as part of my origin story and stuff like that, uh, I will feature a dogfish head. Hey, look at that. And now dogfish head is interesting. They usually do bottles, but um, I saw Huck had a tiny can and yeah. we all been having big cans. I have a medium can. Hey! A 12 ouncer cool 12 yeah 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 so this is called uh hazy o hazy ipa oh okay and what's interesting about it is you're like oh yeah 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 everybody's doing hazy this is uh it's a juicy ipa i'm gonna read the can because i don't want to mess up right now so it's a juicy hazy ipa brewed with malted road na- rolled naked oats and Ooh. oat milk oh okay so it's like all like it's like an oat extravaganza. So instead of doing like a lactose sugar milk thing, mm-hmm. they are doing an oat thing. Yeah, I, I like that. That gives it a smoothness. It should give it a smoothness uh, that the lactose sometimes does. But So it makes me wonder if the uh, very lovely. Uh, that was a crack. beautiful crack. Oh. oh, fuck yeah, my dude. Oh, oh yeah. fuck yeah, my dude. Now, something I'm also very proud of is my glass collection. So okay. uh, mm-hmm. when I went to Dogfish Head, uh, I, as always, uh, my family, we all sampled one of their strange ones. And they're like, well, this is a strange one. And we also wanted to do a, what does he call it? Like a survey. Because mm-hmm. it was more of experimental. And I guess this has got to be something that, like you, uh, Beer Wonder, have been calling them. Uncle Sam might have like introduced to, to yeah. the Dogfish Head. There's like... Mm-hmm. Let's do some uh, surveying. So uh, because we did it, we got this like beautiful kind of like yeah. teku glass that I, I was like, yeah, why did they never like capitalize on the uh, dogfish head having like the scales? Anyway, yeah, oh, there you go. Yeah, it's, it's a, a beautiful cool glass. glass. Yeah. So, well, uh, all right. We'll bring it up a little higher so we can see that pour. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, gosh. It's that good gold color. It's that good mm-hmm. haze. It's that good head buildup. It's just everything I want from a delicious hazy boy. Oh, I'm going to have to stop. I'm going to have to start slurping. Yeah, that we don't head. want that. To... <laughs> there you go. So that's that's the sound of glory right there. Oh, so I'm like guessing with the, with the name Hazy O's, they're sort of trying to, Hazy O's and the Oats, they're trying to invoke some kind of Cheerio thing. <laughs> I can only assume. So you'll have to tell us if this this if if you can go back long enough in your head to see if it uh, has anything close to a Cheerios flavor profile. All right, let's. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll sip it. Let's see. Indeed. Oh, it's a pretty one. It's got nice uh, that, that juice bomb look to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would be searching if I was going to say, I. I taste the Cheerios. I don't know if it has so much of a strong cereal taste. It's 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 got that 
hop fruitiness though. Okay. So it's like dialing it down from what I had before with the puree strawberry stuff. And it's just like, it's just, um, uh, emphasizing those, uh, those, uh, hops with the, uh, the oats and the sugar and giving it a mouthfeel. I think the oats give it a mouthfeel. They, they tend to. Yeah. And then you have the, uh, the, the oat milk giving it that. So that's not bitter, bitter. So it's just like, almost like a juice bomb, like, uh, Huck was saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there a cereal taste on it? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure how like the oats would uh, would influence that. It's just good. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what I'm kind of thinking with mine. Like I'm trying to like it's analyze good. it, and I'm not like I'm not getting anything especially boozy. It's just like there's something about how that Russian imperial stout flavor is mm. just so strong and powerful that not much else gets in there. I've had ones that like, where like, okay, I can taste a little bit of cinnamon. I can taste a little bit of peppers. Mostly it's just like that Russian Imperial stout is, is there. It's can powerful. I ask you, is there, is this, am I tasting nutmeg? There's nutmeg in here. There's nutmeg in here. There's nutmeg in here. There's nutmeg. I didn't know that was going to be a loop, but. <laughs> uh, sometimes what you need is a loop. I yeah. am so happy. We took a while. Yeah, to we, get that I've had in. that on the there soundboard for weeks, and that's the first time we actually worked it into the show. She'll be happy <laughs> I, to know she made a cameo appearance. I, I'm sorry, I kind of forced it, but it was yeah, that was appropriate. You mentioned cinnamon, so there's nutmeg in here. There's nutmeg in here. <laughs> that's great. Is that's that too great. is that too deep of a cut for you, Charles? <laughs> no, because I know I you're super it. fan. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. It. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, that was that was a little cameo appearance by the by the babe. If we're gonna do that, I'm not sure if we're gonna do that or not. What? Well, because because every time I start Belgian, I'm not sure what is gonna come out of my my <laughs> mouth next. So we've yeah. we've kind of taken to abbreviating the Belgian babe and the Belgian blonde to just the babe and the blonde. Yeah. Or referring to both of them, we'll just call them the Belgians. <laughs> which we'll, we'll need to have them back together because that just will make everything and Trapel man we should just give them the three of them the show and see what happens yeah just like hey, it's the belgian show <laughs> exactly well i yeah. do have some exciting reports from uh, our week in beer oh do tell two important things first off i do want to note that cider girl's birthday did happen between our last recording and our current yes uh, recording and that was exciting. Uh, and so I did uh, spend a little bit of time at a brewery uh, with her. I happened to be Coney Island along with Nutpool. And he does not send his regards. Oh, so gosh. Gosh. just needed to wow. be clear on that one. Yeah, that guy was, can hold a grudge, huh? I know. He really I can. I mean, we're really fine can. with him. I don't know what, what he would be. I mean, say what you will about Nutpool. Say, say what you will about Nutpool. I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I hope, uh, yeah. Anyway, but yeah. I, in, I hope in, in more in more yeah. important and accurate. I mean, not that Cider Girl's birthday was not important and accurate and, and, and delightful. And, well, and you accurate. tell him we said if you see him again, tell him we send our regards. It's, we, uh, I know. will. I will. I do. I occasionally run across him. As you can tell, we've we've had some interactions recently in the real world. You know. Um, however, uh, I, I'm heart. excited that uh, on the day of recording, now this is uh, Wednesday, June 2nd, for those of you listening along in real time, um, I had the pleasure of going to a new brewery location that happens to be very close to my um, undisclosed location. <laughs> it is uh, Evil Twins' new Dumbo Brooklyn Tap Room. And I was in there within like three hours of them opening. It was very exciting. Um so a couple things, a couple of notable things. First off, uh, great can sales. They're going to have a coffee shop. They've got that great board that we're used to from their um, Ridgewood location with the with all the amazing titles and everything. Um, I tried a spelt lager, which was lovely in a short pour. They've got Wi-Fi. So that may become my new work from home location because, um, <laughs> you know, that works. Um But um, they are a fully uh, vaccinated location. So oh, yeah. because oh, wait a minute. you have to be vaccinated to enter, you do have to be vaccinated to enter. So because of their size um, and, and their, their desire to have lots of people in there, they are currently requiring everyone in that specific location who is going to sit down and have a beer to be vaccinated. Um, so Good that was kind of cool. Um, That's great. When are we, when are we going there together? I mean, you just named the day. I, it's All literally, right. I can stumble. I could go there right now. Like I could be there in three minutes. <laughs> okay. So you let me know. Um, Not tomorrow, but, maybe the next day. Okay, did we'll they talk. take temperatures and did they uh, do uh, nope. the contact tracing or just? Nope, because they're they're COVID. using they they're checking stuff at the door is is what it appears. So I, I'm assuming um, both the cards or and or the Excelsior pass. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, I, I just use Excelsior Pass. Yeah. Okay. Um, but but they are asking for full vaccination in that space. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and then once you get in there, it's I mean, it was four three hours open and the middle of the day on a Wednesday. I was there around three o'clock p.m. It was pretty hopping. Uh, three bartenders working. It's a gorgeous space. Really big, tall, airy. They had the doors open so you could feel the wind blowing. Like it was a really beautiful, lovely spot. Um, I, as as tourists return to Gotham City, which I am very excited for, given that my undisclosed location is in a heavily touristed area, I'm nervous for the uh, the, the, the 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 foot traffic that they might start to get. Uh, and I also want to remind our dear friends over at Randolph Brewing that they are not forgotten, and we're going to make sure that everybody gets a little bit of love during this adventure. But I'm yeah, so gotta happy- go to that rooftop situation you you and uh, you and uh, Trip Hellman had sounded wonderful. I mean, here's the thing. You've now got a crawl going. And, uh, you know, if you need some spirits, you can also swing by King's uh, King's County Distillery. And in theory, uh, Blue Point was going to open up a small uh, brewing location also within walking distance. So there's now a beautiful, beautiful beer stumble to be had here in Dumbo. And I just want to welcome uh, our dear friends at um, Evil Twin to the neighborhood uh, and let them know that I will be there regularly. And also, all the Avengers are welcome at any time. Nice. Uh, Excellent. Awesome. Yeah. That's, that's great. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know I announced on the show a week or two ago that I just found out that uh, the Baroness, uh, we had we had announced that they, they had closed, uh, but we announced that they'd found a new location, uh, the former location of the Corner Bistro on Vernon Boulevard. I didn't realize how soon it was because apparently they opened last Thursday. Oh wow! So that is there. That's in existence. They have the, um, I think, at the moment, a smaller list of their amazing burger selection, but so many great, great things there, uh, as well as uh, they really focus on local. I think I saw like four or five other halves on their menu, oh, okay. uh, and like some Equilibrium, and I can't remember mm-hmm. what else. But they're they're very into local craft beer. So I'm uh, I'm going to try and go there tomorrow, and I'll uh, I'll report on that next week. Good. good news good to have I, important reports in the field i Absolutely. went to another brewery over the weekend uh uh the rockaway brewing oh yeah oh at rockaway beach Whoa. I, oh. that is something that is that almost was, makes it, it was, worth going to the beach <laughs> it was something well we have a friend who lives uh, out there and went to see their uh the baby have you seen the baby beautiful baby <laughs> Uh, no, but I but, did see uh, that episode of Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so we visited them. We, we did go to the beach. It was rather cold, but then we went to the brewery. Nice little space. Uh, v- very beachy. You know, it's mm-hmm. like a real like warehouse kind of space. And uh, it was it was it was fine. It was fine. You know, I've been to the one in in, in uh, LIC and uh, it was nice that they have this other uh, rockaway in the Rockaways, so yeah. the Tracks. proper restoration of that of their home there. Um, and last night I went to the uh, open mic, uh, which I hadn't gone to since last February. Mm-hmm. No, so this, uh, of course, is a is a downtown indie staple. The, for yeah, the op- right? the open mic downstairs. It's usually under St. Mark's, uh, uh, and it was at the Crane Theater last okay. night. Okay, yeah, the they maybe thing, seem to be pioneers in bringing new things back. Yeah, yeah, they're really trying. Uh, and the thing is, with theater in New York, I know at this point, let's just say June second, there's a, there's still rule with all these rules about what you yep. can do with opening a theater, or comedy club, or whatever. So they had vaccination; you had to be vaccinated. Mm-hmm. We had to wear masks the entire show in the audience. Uh, we had to have spacing, the six foot distancing, that so they had less chairs in there. We had to do contact tracing, fill out a form, okay. no, and no, no drink, food or drink. In the theater, oh, right? Wow. A little bit of overkill. Hopefully, they can tone that down as the weeks come. Oh, but you know, they're being safe. But just upstairs is the KGB bar, oh, great course. bar, uh, really uh, bar. Uh, cool place. But I mean, it's it was completely lawless. Like there's <laughs> <laughs> no masks, no spacing. People are at the bar. People are at the tables. People are outside. They had outside uh, drinking, and I did Small manage quest. to grab a uh, a Bautica nine. Strong lager, a, Ru- a Russian beer. Anytime you go to KGB bar, you get you get the Baltica. Uh, they're bigger bottles and uh, really nice lager, actually. And and I was reading about it, and they completely uh, uh, brew it naturally, natural uh, uh, fermentation. You know, so oh, wow. to get a stronger lager, so it takes a lot more time. And uh, they're owned by Carlsberg, mm. uh, but uh, they, and they have pretty wide distribution. But you really don't see it in the city unless you go to KGB. Right, but if you do see them, that's a, that's a good beer, Baltica. 
I think that's uh, covering that. Yeah, there we go. I, I right. did want to clarify that. one thing that you said about uh, about the crane is that, yeah, I know the audience is socially distanced, but they're socially distanced by groups, right? Like if yeah, you, you buy a group two or three, of three together, tickets yeah. together, you get to sit together and then you're socially distanced from the next party. Exactly. Right? Okay. But I bought my Baltica and I came back into the theater. And <laughs> Debbie you at the door is it. like, you can't come in. You can't come in. Yeah. Yeah. I said, I'd like chug it outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a, sure, that was a great a show. And it was it was great to be back to, uh, performing again, and yeah, uh, so great. hope to see more of that as exactly. the months uh, go by here in the summer. Well, yet yeah, it really is interesting the way those those rules are. I went back to the this is not a beer thing, but I went back to the gym for the first time today, uh, thinking I was going to have to try to do it masked, and then I walk in with my mask and I see no one's wearing a mask. And I'm like, and so I asked the guy behind the, well, actually I noticed right away, the guy behind the desk isn't masked. Mm -hmm. And so I said, oh, were you guys, uh, are you guys unmasked for vaccinated people? I said, oh yeah, yeah. And so I took off my mask. Do you need to see my proof? And he said, no, no, no. Oh. So it's completely on the honor <laughs> yeah. system, uh, which um, I'm starting to feel less conflicted about. Yeah. Only because that if someone is going to lie about it, they're the ones voluntarily mm. exposing themselves to the risk. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. if that person is taking the risk and people will associate with them, I'm just, it's just like, I can't help them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, and we're two weeks out from the CDC's big announcement that kind of shook everything and yeah. rates are still going down. So mm. y'all, these vaccines, it's some good stuff. And I heard, I also heard today that if we can get 70% by, I believe it's July 4th, Budweiser is buying us all around. And I'll be honest. Oh, okay. I, I will yeah. be honest. I will drink that beer. Yeah. I, I will, will drink that beer. I will even if, uh, even if in New York, it will technically probably only be a discounted beer. And now, right. Maybe you didn't read, did you read the details about this? I did read the details. It's, it's like a $5 discount. voucher. I know, I know. It's, but here's uh. the thing. I, I, will drink that, I will drink that beer. I might even drink it on the podcast. Because you can, you, I'm just you, saying, Beer Avenger Nation, get your damn vaccines, and I will drink a Budweiser on the beer cast. That'd be great. <laughs> and, and, and all I'm saying is, you can really count on an independent movement in New Jersey and other small locations to do something really well for in Bell Bev to take it and manage it in an inferior way. Clearly, mm. absolutely. But yeah, but I think their, their deal. I think you probably said this because I I was. I, I always try to listen, but sometimes I'm waiting to talk. I'm trying to get better about that. But but you said their their criteria is when we hit seventy percent of minimum one vaccination, right? Yes, and it is. Yes. I, it it, I, it it is. I believe uh, time limited, so it needs to be by July fourth. Which by July fourth, I think we're only about yeah. fifty right now. Yeah, exactly. So well, get on it, America! Oh please, yes. please just go. If there's any it, choir so. out there listening to that, we're not just preaching to. Come on over to our side. We'll join you at Evil Twin. Yeah, exactly. In Dumbo. That's even to me the idea that we can all hang out together at Evil Twin is even better than having a free Budweiser. Well, very soon, very soon. <laughs> what, is, what is going on with my lighting? Every you look I'm fabulous, not, Huck. I'm but here's the situation: orange? we do we do have some important business we have to get down to. Charles has been very patient with all of us, but we yes, it is time for some naming. I think. Well, that's true, but I have an, I, I have another. Uh, oh, you have another pour. Oh another my god, another pour. <laughs> Poor show. What is this? And this, this is, is going to uh, be a New Year's call, Eve show, uh, I think. This is uh, another one for uh, 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 the sound cue because it is a. Oh, hang on. Uh, <laughs> I, I was so totally unprepared for this. Is, uh, is... I know it. It is a. There's not making here. No, not making. Not making. Uh... <laughs> they're making. So, they're making it here. Cue it up again, Huck. This is a sponsored poor. That's right. This one's called. Business. It's from Stillwater oh, Brewing. I it's got love all these that dollar beer. signs on it. It is an imperial stout. I don't know how imperial it is. Let me see what it looks like. Oh yeah, it's pretty imperial. Oh no, that's decidedly imperial. It's got those money signs all over it. Oh, this is this one is cash, cash, and no head. Basically, no head. Like the head just <laughs> considered being a head, and then was like, nah, I'm gonna pass on that one. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of. Uh, it's made with uh, uh, oh, molasses and muscovado. Muscovado, uh, that's something to figure out what that is. What I think muscovado know. is simply is like something that is like it's, it's molasses sugar. I think that's really essentially what it is. You can really taste the muscovado. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, ooh, I love that finish. It's like isn't a, it great? Mm, this kind of creamy coffee finish on it. Mm. 
Mm. Ooh, that sounds delicious. I like that. So we're getting yeah. to the naming. Well, I mean, yes. that's the thing. We do have important important business. And we um, do have the hookups as well, but uh, oh, we do have the hookups too. Yes, we should well, do the hookups first. Let so me it just gives run me more time to think quickly. of a name. I'm going to go as quickly <laughs> as I can on these. Uh, Chill Hayes, I already said that. Uh, Miami and Erie Canal. I just like I'd never heard of that. It's a different canal from the uh, Erie Canal. Very it is, yeah, interesting. Uh, Talea uh, started in 2018 by Tara Harkinson and Leanne Darland. Uh, we talked about Melbourne Brothers. Uh, 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 it was mentioned that they were an old English brewery. Yes, they, mm-hmm. from 1816 to 1974, the Melbourne oh. Brothers All Saints Brewery. In 1974, they closed, and all their facilities were bought by the Samuel Smith Company. So in the oh. 90s, they revived some of the old Melbourne Brothers recipes, specifically the fruit beer. So Melbourne Brothers, they did... A variety of beers. They had stouts and and, mm-hmm. and other beers, but uh, it was those fruit beers, and they have a series of fruit beers now called the Melbourne Brothers uh, fruit beers that you can buy under the Samuel Smith name. There you go. So an egg case. Uh, I'm sorry, a devil's purse is an egg case, right? An egg case for uh, some sharks, uh, skates. So wait, and also so like an egg shell. Yeah, well, it's an egg case because it's like a, it's like oh a, the case of the eggs come. And it's got little tendrils that come off it, and the and the the the, the fish will just sort of leave it, and the tendrils will grab onto rocks and will be able to anchor itself. Got and it. And then okay. they're and the thing about the the devil's purse is, and the reason they're popular at the Cape because a lot of them wash up on the beach after the eggs are gone. So they're like eggshells essentially, and you find those devil's purses, and they look evil. They're black, you know. So that's the idea. That's why they got them the devil's yeah. purse. Um, and, and chimeras is another kind of fish that has the same kind of. Uh, Devil's Purse. Uh... Oh, there you go. Okay, good. All right. Well, so, well done. Uh, uh, well done. I was going to call myself by my name, but <laughs> I, I, I have a feeling that some of the 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 names that I have in my head, uh, uh, others might have come up with as well. Okay. Uh, but um, I want to hear yeah, Huck please. first. No, me? No, no, no. Well, oh, I, no? I'll, I'll start because I only have two. I only have okay. two. Now, first, I was I was considering, you know, Charles, your New York heritage. And so I wanted to go with an historic New York uh, brewery. And, um, you know, I, 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 I the, the, your, your, your youthful energy also inspired this as well. <laughs> um, so one suggestion I had was the Ryan Golden Boy. Oh, that's um, good. <laughs> which takes us back to some of our old school New York City beers. Um, I like yeah. that. Um, but also, given your love of hops, and I am so always so pleased to be joined by um, an IPA fan, um, and your um, penchant for the science of books, I thought the Lupularian could be an interesting <laughs> as well. <laughs> oh man, so, Beer the Lupularian. The Beer nice. wonder out of the gate with two winners. <laughs> Well, I, you know, I just wanted, I, 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 I disappointed everyone at the start today. So I felt like I needed to build myself back up. I like that for, uh, 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 for, for the Lupularian. And also the other one, uh, because I was thinking we had the Belgians, we have two mothers now. We got two boys. That's true. The boy wonder and the, uh, I forgot the name already, but I liked it. Uh, the, the Ryan Golden Boy. Ryan yes. Golden Boy. That's hilarious. I love that. <laughs> um, I hope Charles likes both of those. Oh yeah, the local beer, down, uh, the the local bar down the, the street. It's like a beer garden. I don't know. Has Huck been there? It's called the Lockyard, and they used to feature a lot of like uh, American craft uh, beers. Um, the they have they have an awesome bathroom <laughs> in their garden area. You go in, and it's just lined with uh, the Ryan Goldheart uh, yeah, hands oh, yeah. and stuff like that. It's uh, it's pretty. It's Ryan pretty cool. Golden Boy, I like that. Yeah. Uh, I just have. I just was going. I just like. I'm just throwing stuff against the wall. Uh, so I had the librarian, but I already like the. Oh, loop, that's a good one. I had. I, I'm, I'm one, somewhere yeah. on the same page with you on that. The librarian, because the librarian is like you're from another country. Exactly. Yeah. That's I had the exact same thought. You can't really say the librarian Very because good. it makes it sound like he's oh. from Liberia. He likes the <laughs> different uh, the style shifter. Oh, I uh, like that. That's nice. The borough presidente, uh, uh, and the the Q either either just Q K E W, or like the that. Q train. Mm. 
Oh. These are terrible. They don't have anything to do this, with beer. This, this, I think that's... Hugh has has. I think Hugh has some excellent legs, or you know, I don't. We don't really say legs. All right, on, on some, beer, something right? with Q and non, but I couldn't. I couldn't. Well, like it started with Star Trek, <laughs> then it went over to something really evil, and maybe that would be our way of reowning it. Exactly, we're bringing Q back I, to something positive. Yes, yes. I, I had a there. One of my first jobs in the city uh, was working for a commercial editing company, and uh, one of the tape guys, he was, he's like, "Oh, you're from Q Gardens. I used to live there. I'm gonna call you the QG." I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> QG. That's good too. The I QG. like that one. That the is QG. good. Yeah. The QG. The QG. And then um, I just had a whole bunch of shark ones. Uh, the shark <laughs> fan. Uh, uh, the uh, the shark nade oat with the oats. I mean, I'm not on my game today with these. <laughs> the haze shark because of the dogfish. You know, is, mm. is oh, I, I gotcha. Yeah. Uh, and the, but one maybe this one could work. Shark pool. <laughs> Mm. If say anyone wants to be pool. associated with nut pool, I mean that's <laughs> say what you will. Um, say what you will about shark pool. Okay, so mine are all kind of bad. But what do you? Guys no, think I think I think you're I think but you're very much on the right track with some of your. I mean, I like a lot of what you said, uh, but I the the ones that you had that I thought I would probably have some similarities with mm-hmm. were were riffing on the whole librarian thing, right? Yes. So, but like you said, librarian is just too awkward. Liberian sounds like it's something else. Yep. Uh, but I had a notion Not of that there's anything wrong with librarians. Lovely what about people. the idea that the librarian who comes home from work and he starts to drink beers and then he becomes what would be the barbarian, but in this case, oh. it's the oh. beer barian. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Oh, nice. Look at this. The so that's that's that's, that's really all I have. I'm gonna I'm gonna put put it all on that one. But uh, this was yeah. a okay. fruitful naming. The I beer like barian. <laughs> I like bar- beer barian, and of mine, I like shark pool. Uh, and I really like QG. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Q the QG that QG. Really cool. I mean, it's kind yeah. of insular. It kind of needs more explaining than some of the other ones. Yes, but it's uh, but also I, worth I, the explanation. I also like the 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 ones that the beer wonder came up with. Uh, if you run those again, yeah, uh, Lupularian and Rhine Golden Boy. Those are both good. What do you say, Charles? It's up to you. So overwhelming, so overwhelming. No, the no reason, reason I specified that beer barian was more of a of a twist on barbarian is because if it was just librarian, then you'd have to say beer brarian, and that that wouldn't work. But the beer barian, <laughs> I, I uh, with also like a beer baron too that fits that there. Oh so. man, I I love the power of the beer barian. So yeah, I'm gonna go with, go from the gut and just say, I mean, beer wonder had me like. Beer Wonder had me, and then and then Beer Barian. Well, just... the Beer Barian <laughs> comes with such power, and honestly, yeah. with great power comes great comes responsibility. Great responsibility. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> I think that really fits. Awesome. I think it fits it, beautifully. Yeah. But I, what I love it is like I know we don't use our real names, but I just love the whole notion of it. Would be like because it's just sitting on the Conan thing. It's like Charles the Beer Barian. <laughs> like and if the I Barbarian. could, and if you I could, could, yeah, yeah, what do you got? If I could plug another. Delaware Brewery. Of course. Um, I unfortunately drank all four because I just couldn't wait and I needed to make room in the refrigerator. But uh, there's a brewery called Revelation Brewery also mm. in the yeah. area. Yeah. And they have their their IPA is, is, is a solid IPA. I mean, it's not like a wow, it's not, but it's is like. Is it called solid, the Mark of the Beast? It's called Conan the Juice Man. Ooh, <laughs> going and the juice man. So I fitting beer I just, for Charles the I'm, beer barian. So that's why I'm just kind of like I yes I appreciate that as my naming. Well, <laughs> as you very say. good. The beer barian. No, I think that's as great. I, that's as great. I go through, great. as I go through Delaware, conquering the many breweries with my trusty sister and <laughs> brother-in-law. <laughs> Testing the out the yeast, the, the, and the hops, the whole beer berrian <laughs> family. Yeah, yes. yes. I Excellent. feel like there's a Led Zeppelin song in there. Oh, do, 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 do. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Very good. Uh, excellent. And Captain, two two in a row for the. Hey, cat. look at that! It just sometimes it comes to me. You know, <laughs> when we when you guys had that week where I wasn't here and and uh, that was that 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 put a fire under the both of you and and I think you, you you're outdoing me now and you and, don't need me anymore. 
No, no, we I'll will never not now. need you. Oh, Hawk. we, we do. will never not need you. I'll be you. going. Well, you need you're me just play. like making us beg. You need me to play the theme song. <laughs> I, I do in a minute, but that was a wonderful segue talking about that one show where we had the naming problems because as oh, yeah. of the time you hear this, you will be able to download the newest episode of Acquired Tastings, Ooh. where I guessed it on and officially announced the name of Josh Mills of Acquired Tastings. Uh, so look for that. Um, also, uh, I have to say something more about our sponsor, Astoria Beer and Cheese Ditmars. They are now officially open uh, for indoor and outdoor dining. Still not bar service yet, but they've taken down most of the shower curtains, except the ones in front of the kitchen. Uh, they have shower curtains all around the, the counter. That was their sort of makeshift way of doing that. But they have like mm. they have indoor seatings with partitions, and they just today. And this is we we all have to make our reservations as soon as possible, especially before oh, yeah. this drop drops. Uh, they are they are doing three seatings for their because they had to skip their anniversary party last year. They're having their seventh anniversary party on June twenty seventh. Mm. Uh, in order to keep things socially spaced, they're doing them in three reserved seatings at 11 a.m 3 p.m and 7 p.m uh and i think there are only 60 seats available for each one of those oh wow so so look into that it's uh the first one i think is only two hours so that's 50 bucks the other two are 65 and uh where they have their great like they have 12 curated special beers and it's a mm. totally open bar situation and it's that's so cool. it's always magical um so look to that uh and i yeah i i know i know we're running kind of long tonight but I, does, does anyone else have any other business they want to uh all right well welcome welcome to the beer avenger fold beer barian oh or the beer barian the beer barian or beer barian <laughs> it's your choice it's your choice yeah it is your choice beer barian yeah all so, right yeah but, Straight yeah. to the point. <laughs> All right, very good. Thanks so much, <laughs> everyone, articles. for listening. Thank you. Uh, Thank if you. you like what you're hearing and you want more people to know about it, please, uh, please, please say so on social media. Mm -hmm. You can uh, you can reach out to us at thebeeravengers dot com, thebeeravengers at gmail dot com, and on all the social medias at at thebeeravengers. And thanks so much for 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 listening, and and thank you so much, Beer Barian. Uh, and it's wonderful having you. Come back anytime. Thank you. Glad which you is this, was such an honor. It was which such is an honor. which is the same thing my father said to me when I left Ohio last week. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's true. But uh, <laughs> all right, uh, wonderful show, everyone. Uh, Huck, do the honor of playing us out. See you next week. Well, we're the beer, 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 beer Avengers, beer, 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 beer Avengers, beer, 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 beer Avengers. We're, we're the, the beer Avengers. Avengers.